but you are required to do, when you conclude that this is office research, you have to do some bare minimum analysis to say, if I'm going to testify under oath that it's office research, I better know what the use is. Well, um, it is not up to me to define what exactly the property owner intends to do in it. It is up to me to, to confirm what the zoning of the property is, and I have done that. It's zoned office research. Well, let me ask you this. When you heard earlier the statement from Mr. Whitaker, that Navistar hasn't planned for the full use of the property yet. How does that affect your analysis? How can you draw conclusions if there's <coughs> not a plan for the use of the property as of yet? I Mr. Have... McCann, before you answer that, Tony, is staff satisfied that they have a good understanding of the uses that are going to be placed on this property? And is staff satisfied that those proposed uses as presented in Navistar's application are consistent with the OR zoning code? Correct. I mean, when we, when we started this process, we initially discussed the pro proposed use. Um, the issue of the, the uh, specific storage tanks came up. Um, it's not specifically listed in the OR district, but my interpretation was based upon the percentage that that particular uh, vehicle prep building was. It was an accessory use to the principal OR district use, which was office, administrative office, research and development. I think the vehicle prep building ranges from, I don't know, is it 25,000 square feet or so? The total square footage for the entire um, building, f uh, the new, new building and existing building is almost 1.5 million square feet. So that 25,000 square feet vehicle prep center was considered accessory and the tanks themselves were considered accessory as well.